Hello and welcome back to Step by Step Guitar Tuition. In this song workshop I'm going to teach you how to play Are You Gonna Be My Girl by Jet. <laughs> The intro riff for this song features the A minor pentatonic scale. If you're not familiar with that scale, then I suggest you check out the pentatonic lessons in the step by step syllabus. Let's take a look at the first riff. Start with a slide from fret 5 to 7 on the 4th string with your 3rd finger, pluck and slide. Then you've got a double stop at the 5th fret on the 2nd and 3rd strings, so hold those 2 strings down with your 1st finger, pluck, then your 3rd finger goes on fret 7 on the G on the 3rd string, 4th finger goes fret 7 on the 2nd string, pluck the 2 strings together and bend and release, go back to the double stop, fret 5, pluck the 2 strings together, then on the D string a single note, fret 7 twice, and then fret 5 on the D string once. I'll show you that again. Hold down an A bar chord at the 5th fret, so you're barring across the 5th. Get your 2nd finger on fret 6 on the 3rd string. You've got your 3rd finger on fret 7 on the 5th string. And you've got your 4th finger fret 7 on the 4th string. And you're going to strum that down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down. Like this. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down. And again, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down. And if you do that three times, and then play the previous riff. So again, that rhythm, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down. The verse riff combines the A bar chord and the minor pentatonic riff that you learned at the beginning of the song. For the verse you're using the same A major bar chord and um, the same rhythm that we were playing before. If you start by just striking the chord once and then rest for four bars of four. So strike it once. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then you play the same rhythm as you did before for one bar. Then hit the A chord again and rest for two bars. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the riff the rhythm again. Hit the A and rest for four bars again. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Then you play the rhythm once, and then the intro riff. So I'll play that all through, starting on the A chord and then the four bar um, rest. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. The bridge riff features pole chords, so if you're not familiar with pole chords, then you can learn more about them in the step by step modules. <laughs> For the bridge we're playing a D major bar chord at the 10th fret, so you bar across, 2nd finger fret 11, 3rd finger on the 5th string fret 12, 
little finger on the twelfth on the fourth string fret twelve. If you hit that chord all six strings three times. Then move the chord shape back two frets to the eighth fret, that's a C chord, hit it once. I'll do that again from the D, the tenth. Then you're going to play a G chord at the tenth fret, hold down the tenth fret on the A string with your first finger and then if you lay your third finger flat across the twelfth fret on the fourth, third and second strings. So we're just playing the four inside strings there and strike that chord once. So from the D we've got three strums to the C to the G. And we do that three times all together. And then D. So three times round and then just finish on the D. I'll try that again. The chorus riff features bar chords again at the 5th, 8th and 10th fret. That's an A chord, a C and a D. If you're not familiar with bar chords, then I recommend you check out the bar chord lessons in the Improvers module of a step-by-step -step syllabus. <laughs> For the chorus we're using three chords, A barred at the 5th, C barred at the 8th, D barred at the 10th, the same chord shape, 5th, 8th and 10th frets. And the rhythm is down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down on each chord. So from the A, then move up to the 8th, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, to the 10th. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, back to the fifth. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down. Put all that together. And again. Also you might notice that after the three down strums, just after I've played them, I'm slightly relaxing the pressure on the chord. Just let the pressure off slightly and that gives that slightly more rhythmical choppy sound. If you don't do that, it sounds like this. So you can hear the difference. So you just do that by just letting go of the chord, just enough to mute the strings. I'll show you that again from the A, fifth fret. All of that twice. For the bridge to the second verse you're using two power chords E and G. If you hold down an E chord at the seventh, first finger on the fifth string, seventh fret, your third finger is holding down the ninth fret on strings four, three and two. You can do that with your little finger if you prefer. Or if you can manage, you could squeeze your second, third and fourth fingers in there. I find it easier to use that third finger. Hit that chord three times. Move up so that your first finger is in fret 10. And that's a G chord and hit that twice. And again, when you play these, by the way, your root note for the first chord is on the... A string, or you can play the because because it's an E chord. You can play the bottom E string open as well if you like. And then the root note on the G chord is the is on the A string. And again. Just before the guitar solo, you've got an instrumental break where there's a minor pentatonic riff at the 5th fret position. I'll show you how to play that now.
Put your third finger on fret 7 on the D string and put your first finger on the same string on fret 5 and you're going to play um, the that you're going to strum the 5th and the 4th strings together with your plectrum and if you start by strumming down 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 up 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 down on those two strings and then lift your third finger off and strum one down stroke and again third finger back on down 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 up 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 down off for that down stroke and repeat that four times Now let's have a look at the lead guitar solo, a fairly simple solo um, at the 10th fret position and based on the A major pentatonic scale. Bend and release fret 12 on the B string, play fret 10 on the B, roll up on the top B, play fret 10, and then back down fret 10 on the B, do your bend and release again, fret 10 on the B, then fret 12 on the top B, back to the 10th, bend and release again, fret 10, reach up to fret 14 on the B, back to 10, bend and release fret 12 again, 10, then you play fret 12 on the G string, a very slight bend, fret 10 on the B. And repeat all that. And again. Okay, that's it for Are You Gonna Be My Girl? I hope you enjoyed that workshop and I hope you'll have fun practicing that one and mastering it. If there's anything in there that you're not confident about, any scales or techniques that you aren't sure of, you'll be able to find out loads more information in your song workshop notes. And if you want to give us any feedback regarding this workshop, then feel free to contact us. Well, I'll see you in the next song workshop and I uh, hope you enjoy practicing Are You Gonna Be My Girl?